Hello everybody, it's Mikey. I'm a full-time reseller and YouTuber. Today I'm headed into Goodwill. And you know what? Reselling's a game of survival. It is not easy. I have a lot of friends who just started out, and when you first start out, you should grab stuff from around your house, sell that first so you learn how to list, you learn how to ship. It's pretty easy. Some of your things are going to sell really fast, like iPhone stuff like that, your old navy pajamas. Those are going to take some time. And that's when you need to start listing some more stuff because that's not going to sell for quite some time. So you got to keep listing and listing. It's like a habit going to the gym. People don't like to go to the gym. People don't like to list. The fun stuff is buying inside. So let's go inside and buy. I'll throw down some more tricks and we'll have a great day. Let's roll. All right, we're sliding in. It's one of my favorite Goodwills. I used to always come to this one when I used to shop with my mom. I always hit this one up. It was on the route. It's on American Pacific and Stephanie, located in Henderson. It's quite the big store. I see some of the same people here. So let's see what we got. We got some new racks out. That's what we're trying to hit up first. The brand new, freshest stuff. It looks like the green tags are fresh this week, friends. So anything with a green tag, they've started hanging since Tuesday. It's a pretty cool hang loose shirt. All right, tag you in when we find something. All right, sometimes I'll take check out a shirt like this. It could be some kind of concert shirt. So, pale waves, mime makes noises, I don't know. We'll check that one out for later. Now this one really chaps my hide. 50 bucks for these? Speeds? No way, I doubt they're even worth that much online. Past suspected friends, only like $20 online now there's overpriced things and there's underpriced things so we need to look at these real quick skip on and go look for things that they they think aren't that good or they just don't know there's so many bolos out there so many great people have bolo list friends start checking them out read them put them in your mind when i first started i had an actual list i wrote it down i'd take it with me and if i found stuff on that list i was like bingo Ooh, now we got some Peloton shoes here. Now they are 50 bucks too. These might actually command 50 bucks, but I highly doubt they're gonna sell them here. They're going to the bins, maybe on Red Tag Day. All right, when I first started, I mostly sold clothes. A lot of my wife super courts clothes out of her closet. She's got a lot. I got some actually we're gonna sell on Whatnot coming up soon. So go down below, you can bookmark my shows. If you haven't joined yet, you can sign up and get 15 free dollars to spend that night. So start selling clothes I'll tell you what clothes take a long time to sell in general a lot of clothes take time you got to study the sell-through rate so you know what sells quick and fast so you can look for those items because some you could list something it might not sell for nine months that's a long time so you got to make sales for the nine months in between so that's where the listing takes place that's where i like to find better faster selling items that's why i started looking in hard goods and electronics and looking stuff up so Let's expand our knowledge, hit a different section. Whoa, a self-tanning bed. Friends, you can get a self-tanning bed for just 50 bucks. All right. Sunspots not included. 50 bucks though, only for this thing. Wow, let's look at the lights. Oh boy, it's got all the lights in there. Oh, <laughs> that would be fun. I could start renting it out, making some money. Should we get a new venture started? Mikey's tanning. Yeah, I like it. 50 bucks only. Man, this is when you wish you had a truck. Okay, when I'm going through the hard goods, I'm looking for stuff that I know has sold for me before, or if it's interesting, I'll look it up. Gloves can do very good, but not this glove. Baseball bats, softball bats. If you know anything down below in the comments, let me know what sells i think these things do good too but I, I don't mess with them my friend miss taffy definitely would probably bag that let's see what else we have bowling balls are no good Ooh, some narwhals unicorns oh right here two dollars nice little glass egg trinket box this will be perfect on my whatnot i like to sell a lot of glass little trinkets like this try to buy it for two or one and sell it for ten or above so think that will qualify bag it all right on our pale waves two listed one sold for 20 bucks we're buying it for four and i like it it's great condition so we're bagging that and we're bagging our little egg that's down there one thing i've learned too is try to check the whole thrift store know what you want most of the time there's only very few items i'm looking for so 
in order to survive, we got to go to more thrift stores. And that's just more fun. So let's take our one item here. We're gonna go hit up another store. We have a little route around here. So we're gonna take that route and see what else we can find. Let's roll. Next stop, let's go. All right, we got some t-shirt bros and some new racks. This is a big old store here, lots of clothes. Checked out some of the new racks. We're gonna check out some of the hard goods over here, see what we can find. And then if we can't find anything, we're off to the next store. I'll hit up probably at least four or five today. See what we can find. See what we can show you what we like. All right. This shirt has a terrible sell through rate, but it's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna bag one thing here. So concert t-shirt, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it will pay the gas. So let's bag this one, get to another store. Oh, we got no friends to make a joke with this. So I guess right here, self pointer. Yeah. Okay, I left that shirt behind. It didn't have a good sell through rate. Part of surviving is discipline. Discipline is very tough. If you don't have it normally, working for yourself, you're gonna have some problems because everything you do equals the bottom line. If you're having a bad day and don't get much work done at a regular job and you're on the clock, you could probably slack and you still get paid exactly the same amount. If you slack on a day of reselling, you're not gonna make more in the future. It's plain and simple. So you gotta be really consistent. You can't go chat with Bob at the water cooler because there is no Bob at the water cooler and you gotta take that time to be working, listing, researching, doing all you can, refining your systems to make yourself more efficient and have a better chance of surviving. Well, we gotta go hit up another store because there are many ways you can do this reselling. I choose to go thrifting and garage selling because I like the super low buy price. There are so many other ways, so many ways to succeed in this business. That's why I love about it. So for now, I'm doing what I do and I'm happy doing it. Let's go to the next one. Next stop, Castaways. Here we go. All right, I came to Castaways with Sunny and a lady fell down. So it looks like they have some good sales today. 50% off, white tags. Gray tags are 97 cents. Ooh, we gotta like that. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we got lots of shoes here now. I recommend if you were just gonna try to buy and sell one thing, used and new, shoes are a great way to go. People buy them every day, it's a huge category. There's lots of room for profits once you know what you're looking for. Ooh, look at this thing right here, $9.99. That thing is fat, that's probably worth it. Oh, but I don't know shoes that good. Well, when you don't know, you can look up. They have a terrible sell-through rate and only go for like 17 or something. Super cool, but not for the pocketbook. Pass it. Ooh, usually things with Gore-Tex are pretty good. This is Solomon. Solomon X Ultra. The Solomon X Ultra, the sell-through rate is good. They sell for like 45 bones. And I think shoes here, seven bucks. All right, Supercourt's been looking for a new shredder. So right here, she told me to keep my eye out. The last one was expensive. So, oh, we got choices here, friends. We got the Amazon Basic. We'll have to test that or we got something else right here. try out the little basic all right another stop friends hopefully we can find some goods this time i often wonder if i just look for other ways to resource but i love garage sales i love piling it up on a saturday and sunday so do this during the week also my friends here have been wondering where are you at mikey we don't see you so much it's garage sale season let's see what we got today all right first pickup is like this bubblegum wrapper coin purse Supercourt actually bought one of these purses so maybe she'll take the coin purse or maybe i'll sell it on whatnot 199 i can't resist it it's mine bag it all right friends this was a video about survival but i think this might be a video goodwill ain't doing the job for him anymore i think i need to find some more sourcing goodwill i'm so disappointed high prices lack of stuff it's my favorite store but i'm having second thoughts 
getting tougher and tougher. More people are out there looking for stuff. Thrift store prices are going high. Surviving ain't easy. I'm at my fifth store already today and I haven't really found much. That's the way it really is when you're looking for specific items that are gonna sell quick online. They're just not in abundance. Otherwise, it'd be so easy. So let's go into our fifth one. Let's hope this is our mega score and makes the day worth it. Back to it. See who's here, what's here. Ooh, new racks, glass, backpacks. Ooh. New carts out here, friends. New carts. Let's see if we can set the new carts first. Ooh. These giraffes might be worth bagging. We're going to investigate. All right, friends, we're getting desperate here, so we're gonna go for this Yamaha Fiat. Motorcycle, it's got some cool stuff on there. It's in the box. I think I can sell it for 25, so we're gonna bag it. Ooh, I'm still hearing the toys, and I checked out this Warhammer, dude. A few sold, we're gonna bag it. Box is in the greatest condition, bag it. All right, long story short, Selling, reselling's tough, but once you get it going, once you get your systems in place, once you've waited some time, it can be great. You can find one item for a day that can pay you more than you made all week at your previous job. So that's what's exciting. That's what keeps me hunting. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get some followers. I don't want you to miss any of these cool videos. Until next time, that's going to be another one in the bag. We out.